Hi everybody, my name is Ron Sweeney and I want to give you a quick screencast of how to use the Merck PowerPoint tool. As you can see here, um, the Merck PowerPoint tool is very well documented on the Merck Wiki. Um, one thing I want to show uh, the screencast is how quick it is to get existing PowerPoint presentations you have up onto a Merck site, um, searchable and in Merck format. Uh, it's invaluable when you launch a Merck site as you, you know, you want to as much content as possible. You want all your users to upload as much content as possible to make your site a little bit more worthy, if you will. And one way to quickly accomplish it is to use this tool and to have um, users go back to all of their PowerPoint presentations in the past and get them up on the site. So I have downloaded the Merck PowerPoint tool onto my desktop. I am now going to open up a small PowerPoint presentation here. And I am now going to go ahead and install the plugin. So here's Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm going to go to the PowerPoint options. I'm going to go over to add ins. I'm going to want to manage my PowerPoint add ins. I'm going to add a new one. Browse to where I downloaded the PPA file, which is right here. And enable the macros on that. And once I have loaded the PowerPoint add in, the option comes available here on the toolbar. And there you can see Convert to Merck is in my toolbar. Here is a small you know, two slide presentation here that I want to go ahead and send to my Merck site. So I will go ahead and click Convert to Merck. And a dialog appears. Um, now you can go ahead and fill in some of this document, uh, some of these fields. It does pull in like the title, it pulls that in from the actual document itself. So if that's already existing, it will go ahead and pull it in here. I'm going to go ahead and put some things in here that I like to include in the teaching file. Now I'm going to get to some important stuff here. This particular field, the owner field, is who you are, who you're going to log into on the Merck site for that particular storage service. Okay, so it's important to do this so that you own the document once it's sent in. So I set this to my username on the Merck site. The next block here is I want to set up some, some permissions to it. I want everybody to be able to read it. I do have published rights on the Merck's storage service that I am sending to. I, I'm the only one who wants to update it. and I want anybody to be able to export it. I'm going to go ahead and save the input above with the presentation. I want to save it as an article. I want to include all the notes and all the images from the um, PowerPoint presentation. I want my image format to be a JPEG. And you can set a size there as well. Now another important part is your URL. Now this is the URL for the submit service that you'd like to submit to, which for me is host port 8180 and the storage service that I'm going to send this into on my Merck site. I typically take the suppression off the end of it here and I'll double check my URL and I'm now I'm ready to send in my PowerPoint presentation to the Merck site. Now what it is doing here is three things. It's pretty important. Uh, it is taking each one of the slides, converting them to a JPEG for me and including those in the teaching file. Second, and probably most important to me, is, is taking all of the text from those and sliding them into a particular field so that they are now indexable and searchable on the Merck site. And third is it's actually including the, the PowerPoint presentation itself into the into the teaching file so they can be downloaded holistically, which is kind of neat. Now it is just prompting me for my username and credentials for that storage service on my Merck site. I'll supply it with my credentials. Keep an eye on the window down here. It is now uploading the zip file that it created with the XML document and the various images to the site. I will go ahead and navigate to my Merck site. Get me in position to query for this particular PowerPoint presentation. I have confirmation down here that it, it, it was successful. So I want to go to my Merck site and say, oh, well, really was it? Um, I'll go ahead and select all of the storage services that I am, and I will search for Academic Medical Imaging, which was the title of the particular document. 
as you can see down here, I have two hits. I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like once it's submitted. Pretty neat. And another thing I wanted to show you in this short screencast was here's this free text. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my query window and I'm going to search all of them for the free text. String. And there, it showed me back to the actual PowerPoint presentation. So, and if I wanted to download this, I could. Uh, download on this on my computer. This is in JPEG format here. Um, yep, that's about it. Very simple, very easy, very powerful. Uh, thanks again. If you have any questions, you can email me at ron.sweeney at gmail.com or